Hi, it's Damon here for Automo Superstore again, and today we're going to be having a look at Kenwood's DMX 5020S Apple CarPlay and Android Auto head unit. That's the unit right there. And in the box, you get the unit itself, obviously. You get the owner's manual with two patch leads, one for speaker connections and one for power and earth and so on. The difference about this unit to most other units you'll find is its direct ISO connection to the back of the chassis. The good news for that, especially when you're on a budget in this price point is you don't need to buy an ISO to Kenwood adapter patch lead. Uh, some vehicles, some European cars are direct ISO. So once you take the OEM, OEM head unit out, you can plug this directly in and it just works straight away, connected to all your power and speakers. If you have a car that doesn't do that, you'll need to get from your car's wiring loom to ISO, which is universal standard. If you don't have steering wheel controls, you just choose an ISO lead for your specific vehicle, something like that. If you do have steering wheel controls, you just need the same lead that has the steering wheel control adapter interface. And then you'll just need a patch lead that takes you from the three wire steering wheel connection to that control. If you need any help with that, you can give us a call here at Automotive Superstore or you can ask online and we'll provide you the right units to get for that or have a look at some links down below. Beyond that, you also get your hands-free microphone, obviously, and a fascia surround that makes it fill in the dash on some of the more modern cars. The additional features of this unit. So 6.8 inch capacitive touch screen, which is really nice on a unit at this price point. You also get four by 45 watts of power, which is about 20 watts RMS per channel from the internal amplifier. And it has front, rear and subwoofer RCA pre-outs with two volts RMS of signal strength. Let's jump inside and have a look at some of the other features. The screen works just the way your phone works. You just swipe left and right, just like you do on your iPhone. Here we go across and we've got access to a lot of the apps. It's not all the apps, but it's the ones that really matter when you're driving. So of course, access to your music, you can make phone calls and messages, and you can do that uh, using the Siri gesture system. You've got audio books and podcasts, obviously. You've got maps. Now, Apple Maps is the one on the first page, but you can also throw in Google Maps if you prefer that, or you can use, even use Waze if you prefer that. Messaging systems like WhatsApp are on there and a bunch of audio sources. So, boxes for playing your high-res music files. You've got Brave as a, as a browser if you want to browse the internet. Uh, simple radio and radio apps are a way to get free digital radio. So that's right, you don't need to buy a digital radio. You can just get the app, gives you digital radio. How cool is that? With Android Auto, it works just the same, except a little bit different. So hit the Android Auto icon, launches into the screen that gives you the simultaneous map and audio source here. Hit the little button in the corner and there are your apps. And now you just swipe up and down instead of left and right and you have access to the very similar services. Your phone, your messaging, your emails, even things like weather and stuff like that and direct access to Spotify or the music that's on your phone natively. Hit this button here, go back to there. If you'd like to go back to your Kenwood menu, hit the Kenwood icon and you're all back again. Easy as that. Hit the little gear icon and here we've got our interface for setting all of our settings. So AV inputs and your display, setting up your cameras. Uh, here you've got access to your Android Auto in mirroring mode. And that you just connect your Android phone via USB and the screen will mirror what's on your phone. This unit, even though it's really, really affordably priced, it's got some really cool features. So in the speaker crossover area, that's where you adjust the high and low pass filters to make sure that your speakers are only playing the frequencies that work properly for them. They've got a very simple mode where you can just say what kind of car have I got, what size are the speakers, and the unit will choose an appropriate filter for you if you really don't know what all those numbers and slopes and all that sort of stuff means. If you do know what they mean, uh, know what they mean and you want to get right into it, hit the crossover button. So you've got a separate high pass filter for the front that you can adjust in frequency and slope for the rear and for the subwoofer, a low pass filter. Cool feature on this unit I've never seen before. Let's say you've got a set of component speakers, so a separate mid-range driver and a separate tweeter in the front of your car. And you just want to attenuate the overall tweeter level compared to the mid-range level. That's what tweeter gain is. And so if you watch the screen here, if I just go zap, 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 it's taking a shelving output and lowering it down in amplitude compared to the mid-range speakers. And that's, that's an awesome feature. I've never seen that on a unit before. I think it's fantastic and every unit should have this feature. In equalizer, you have a 13 band 
fixed frequency equalizer, bass extension, which just uh, it, it puts a, a, an emphasis on the bass output. Here also your sub-level control is hiding. So you're changing the sub-output relative to the main speakers. Digital time alignment. This is just a way of adjusting the speakers so that their arrival time hits your ears at the same time. Simple mode, you can just go front all is the emphasis for the time alignment. You can do front right, front left, or all. If you want to do it in the more advanced way, you can go into the adjust screen and you can adjust every single speaker by, it shows you milliseconds and by distance. And sound effect, bass boost and loudness really. Um, again, if you don't have a subwoofer in the system, you might find that a little bit of bass boost for moderate to low volume levels really makes the music sound more dynamic without actually having a subwoofer in the car. And so there it is. Kenwood's DMX 5020S. It's the only unit under $650 that gives you dual phone Bluetooth, which is a great feature for tradies. It'll also do 1080p video and it has Android auto mirroring via USB. So if you need those features and you're at that price point, this is the unit for you. Check the links down below, comment, like, and subscribe as always, and I'll see you on the next one.